So just looking at this from the front, you know, we talked about if you do have an adjustable front drum, it does give you more gap there for higher volumes of crop flow. If you're thinking in terms of capacity, that can certainly help. Trade-off though, or a reason to run it down, if you are in rocky conditions, you don't want a rock getting further in the combine than it needs to, you can drop this drum down, more likely to stop right in here. Uh, another thing to point out, uh, the leading edge on these slats of this combine are the flat bar. Um, that's gonna be a little bit more gentle on the grain coming in. So if you're concerned about seed quality, might be something to look at on your machine. This started coming standard, uh, what was it, 2015 on coarse grain machines, but yeah. In 2015, they went to a four strand uh, feeder house. They went from the three strand. Um, prior to that, you had two cast bars. Now you have your outer strands are a steel bar and your inner strand is a cast iron bar. So a simple thing, if you don't know, just it, quick and easy, just look at your machine. If your leading edge is the flat bar, you're gonna get higher grain quality by a small amount that way. Uh, if, if it's not that way, it might be worth your time to flip that over pre-harvest. Yep, and it, if you're having small issues in small grain, tough soybeans, feeding issues, um, we see it a lot quite commonly in aftermarket heads. So if you're running an aftermarket non-green head that's having feeding issues, your plug and feeder house having issues with it pulling in, Sometimes simply flipping these bars so they're more aggressive, grabbing those soybeans, grabbing that material a little more aggressively will help fix some of those issues as well. Yep. And then another thing, if we're talking about chain tension, anytime you're switching heads, good idea, just peek at this, make sure you don't have any crooked slats because that means you're off a cog on, your feet, on one of your feeder house chains. Um, so like Jeremiah said, whether it's taking a half link out or just changing the adjustment on the left and the right side, just make sure you're doing that so this is running straight and true. And when they went to the four strand chain in uh, 15, that fixed a lot of our timing issues, um, mainly because your two strands are closer together. So it's a little harder for them to get out of time as well. Right.